in the world of war photography, uh, there are images, searing images, that always stick with you. And in the case of the Iraq War, there were two images from our staffers that are forever in my memory. One is by Lee Cinco that became known as the Marlboro Marine because the Marine that he photographed happened to be smoking a Marlboro at the time. It's one of those pictures you can really study and see in the Marine's face, the wear and tear on him physically and emotionally. There had been a, an Iraqi family that had run a U.S. Uh, checkpoint and uh, they were fired upon. Carolyn Cole. She was there when the other family members came out and took a tarp off of that car and saw the bodies inside. It was a very emotional moment, I'm sure for Carolyn, but also for all of us. We all think of war as fighting between uh, armies. But when you see it come down to, to that level, uh, where there are husbands and wives and children, and brothers and sisters, it's just one of the many sad aspects of war. Going to cover a war, of course, assumes that there is a risk. And we made sure that everyone uh, fully understood that risk, that, uh, that they were well prepared, that we had prepared them as, as best uh, we could. We got a list of uh, photographers uh, together, some that uh, we knew had already been war tested. About the only way we could cover this war, or at least to cover it safely, was to go with embeds. So they laid down the ground rules. They uh, could not tell us exactly where they were. They could not tell us uh, where they were going. They could not take pictures of, of the dead, of dead U.S. soldiers. As journalists and photojournalists, our mission is to tell both sides of the story. And we had a U.S. side, and we were a part of that. But we knew that we had to go beyond that. Rob Gauthier was uh, in before the U.S. troops ever started to roll. We wanted to be there ahead of time to try to tell the story as best we could from the Iraq perspective. Carolyn Cole was in Baghdad before the bombing began, and uh, they were with minders, with somebody always watching over them. When the campaign actually started, these people just sort of melted away. And then people like Carolyn were basically on their own to cover the war from their perspective. To see people that you work with here go off into, a, into such a hostile situation is uh, it's, uh, it's tough. We never wanted to tell them, we need this picture today. We need to get the pictures of the buildings being blown up on the other side of the river when the bombs started falling. No one ever told Carolyn Cole to go to the rooftop to make those pictures. We hoped that if she felt that it was safe that she could do that, but we never put, we never exerted more pressure than what was already there. As likely as there will be another war, uh, we all hope that when we produce the images that these wars produce, that people will think twice about uh, getting into battle again.